Welcome, artists. It's so much fun to see you again. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Welcome back, artists. How it has. Hmm. artists welcome back to my channel hope everyone's doing well this fine fine day here I am going to be reviewing the pelican colored pencils that I was sent and I just want to say thank you to the representative who gave me all the goodies which I'm going to go through I uh, just want to take one second to show you how amazingly excited I am about my nails they're Vincent Van Gogh's starry night oh my goodness oh my goodness and this one is not so much because um, I play guitar so I just kind of keep those colored and coordinated but check it out oh my god uh, they were four dollars on amazon not a sponsor i'm just going to put a link in the description below if you like them but let's get on to what's really important i'm going to actually provide a discount code below so that you can get these on a discount now before you write these colored pencils off i want to tell you what pelican is a renowned company from germany who makes colored inks for fountain pens and just art in general and they do a wonderful job and they also have pencils apparently so these colored pencils i got these and um i was sent 24 of them and an additional 12 as well i was given some crayons as well which my niece tried out and they are kid approved which i'll talk about later i'm going to weigh out the pros and cons of these they're triangular shaped for less hand fatigue so I personally actually liked that because I have arthritis and fibromyalgia. So for those of you who do have those conditions, you'll find them to be a lot less tiring on your hands, which uh, which is a true pro for those of us who uh, get a little um, crampy and everything whenever we're coloring. And whether you're a colorist or a professional artist, that is a pro in my book as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the con is that you will have to get the triangular shaped pencil sharpener which fabric Castell makes one for three different types of holes and one of them has one made for triangular shaped pencil so i will provide a link for that below uh, they do come in a maximum of 24 colors and uh, they were surprisingly bright and pigmented i'm going to show you the color chart here and um the color chart wow bing 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 so i'm going to wow these umbrellas are just blowing these guys out let's see there we go hopefully Let's see. That's actually, it's actually a flesh tone up here, not white. And we got some nice lemon colors. We have some orange and coral. We have variations of different reds. I'm gonna just do it that way. Um, got some pinks, purples, mauves, and um, I like this. This is a kind of a Prussian blue. Some more purples up here and some greens i really like this mint green a lot and some earth tones so you do have some flesh tones and earth tones as well and you've got kind of a gray and um more of a cool toned brown there and black of course and so i didn't uh, sketch out the white of course because i really just most white pencils are pretty useless in colored pencils in my opinion uh, they are wax based they were a very fine balance between uh, soft and firm so the softer you get with pencils colored pencils uh, the more likely likely they are to break in your sharpener another pro is that i did not have any breakage with these i was very very surprised and they were surprisingly pigmented which i loved and so they surprisingly layered well as well i'm going to show you what they look like so this is what they look like it says pelican right here and um yep they are triangular shaped there we go this colorful background doesn't do much for trying to focus in on small objects. Uh, that's what they look like on the ends. Very nice. Nice quality wood. They came, the, the tips came a little shipped in, chipped in shipment, shipped in, blah, 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 blah. the tips came a little chipped in shipment. No biggie. I just want to mention that at first I was a little bit skeptical of them because the first layer went down a little scratchy here and there. However, after about two or three 
layers in here. They got really nice and pigmented. They could be more pigmented, but they're actually pretty decent. I was very, very pleased with the way that the application laid down. Oh, there's a spider! I'm gonna get you. Oh, he stopped. It's like, it's like he knew I was bad mouthing him. I'm trying not to curse because my niece watches my channel and if I curse in the videos then they don't show up in her feed. I killed the spider. Now normally I don't like to kill bugs but you know he cannot be in my house at the same time as me. So okay anyways uh, back to what we were talking about. <laughs> Here is what I created with the Pelican colored pencils. That's 24 colors. Now I will do want to mention that the background was created with Faber Castell Pit Artist pens and then layered on top with some Pan Pastels as well as this floor. So the shadow on the floor and everything is done in Pan Pastel and a little bit of marker. But the shoe itself is all of the colored pencils from Pelican. There we go. That's a good shot. It's still a little bit blown out, but I will give you a picture of what it looks like in a separate overlaid video so you can see what the true colors are. So as you can see, you can create some beautiful artwork with it. Don't judge a book by its cover. It, I, I got to say that at first I thought that they were kind of uh, childish just because they have a little, they have Mr. Krabs on here. <laughs> It's baby Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Actually, I really do like them, even though I kind of judged them at first that they might have been like um, marketed towards children. They have an opaque watercolor set that I have that's kind of geared towards children. But honestly, I think that uh, students and professionals will enjoy them. Now, I won't say that for the opaque paint. That's a little bit more geared towards practice work, I feel like, and artist artist grade but not professional finished pieces but these you could definitely use and they're affordable so that is a definite plus the cons of this particular set is that you are limited to 24 colors as far as i know now there may be some larger sets coming out i'm not exactly sure they're they're pencils without names or numbers now if that's not something that bothers you then don't even worry about this part but for me, I kind of like to know what colors are which, even though I can see the colors and I can kind of name them myself. I like to know the idea in mind that they have for what colors are which and what they would call them so that whenever I have them all laid out or I have them in an organizer or whatever and I'm reaching for a specific pencil color, I want to know what color I'm grabbing. So that's kind of just a, a little bit of a, more of an annoyance than anything else. So in my opinion, I mean, the pros outweigh the cons, personally, I feel like. And it's a good deal, you know, it's a great travel set if you don't want to bring all of your pencils on the road or wherever you're going. Uh, I did get a chance to sketch a little bit with these pencils that they, these number two pencils that they sent me. Um, these actually, um, you know, they're HB graphite. They're very nice and smooth. I gotta say they weren't scratchy at all. Uh, there's 10 of them in the pack and they're easy to sharpen. I didn't get any breakage with these either. I gotta say that even though these are HB graphite and they're number two pencils, uh, I feel like they're higher quality than the kind that you get at the store or whenever school is, uh, just starting and you're going to the store and looking for school supplies these are a little bit better i feel like these are more geared towards artists in my opinion so they also sent me these insanely cute crayons they're not here though because i gave them to my niece because she adored them but anyways i had her test them out and she absolutely loved them even before she even started drawing with them she's 10 so they're great for kids they're really cool. Uh, they look like those little uh, triangular or those little um, my first crayons type of things where they're kind of like for gripping at top and then they're kind of like cone shaped at the bottom. However, these are really clever because the brand is Pelican. They shaped them into little Pelican heads. It was so cute. Oh my God, it was so cute. I was, whenever I realized that they were Pelican heads, I was like, that is so adorable. So she decided to go ahead and draw a strawberry with them. How cute is that? And she did a color chart for me too. Cheery red. 
<laughs> so she even labeled them. How cool is that? So anyways, I just wanted to let you know that those are available and I'll have a link in the description below for those. They're awesome. Pelican makes wonderful art supplies for both students and artists. I just really feel like these are really cool and they were surprisingly uh, decent quality. I really like them actually. I don't know if they're light fast. That was another con. So, you know, whatever. Uh, maybe you can use them for not finished artwork, but maybe you can copy them and make prints out of them if they're not light fast. So anyways, yay, yay! I really liked these a lot. And um, I actually got an extra set of 12 of them. So you know what that means. It's a giveaway time. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to set the deadline for June 9th, 12 p.m. noon, Central Standard Time. What you can do to enter to win is just comment below on what you would draw with them, what you would create with them. It has no bearing on you winning or losing. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to randomly pick the person intuitively. As you know, I am an intuitive clairvoyant artist. I just get a feeling about people whenever it comes to giveaways. And so I just kind of go with my gut feeling as I'm going through the entries and everything. So it's not necessarily random. It's more of an intuitive choice. However, if you want to win these, just go ahead and comment below on what you would create with them and we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, if you want to follow me on social media, go right ahead and do that. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I am on Instagram. So yeah, good times. And um, <laughs> oh boy. thank you for liking, commenting, and hit that subscribe button. All right, so I will see you next time. Thank you for joining me. I am going to be reviewing the Pelican watercolor. Less, I, I suppose it. They also sent me some really cute little crayons. Oh, I dropped it. They're actually, even though they're HB and that's the same as just about any color pen, or. And um, the color shard, wow. The, I'm gonna show you the color shard. I'm gonna show. <laughs> Thank you for liking. <laughs> Just come on back and see me. It's a good time. So there you go. <laughs> okay. We'll see you later. <laughs>